In the last video, we talked about one type of higher order function where a function accepts another function as an argument. Now let's talk about returning a function from within a function. So I have an example of this. It's a little bit trickier to explain, but you can kind of think of these functions as function factories. The function itself returns another function. And in the examples I'll show you, the functions on the outside, the outer functions, are making new versions of a function. They're tweaking a function and returning it so you can use it. So let's start with a simple example. We're going to make a function which we'll call multiply by. And when I call multiply by three, it will return a function that triples a value anytime I call it. So I would do something like this, const triple equals multiply by three. And then I could call triple on five and that would give me 15. I could make another function from the same factory, const double equals multiply by two. And that returns to me a new function where I can call it and pass in a number and it will be multiplied by two. So if I call double of eight, I get 16. So this multiply by function returns a new function that we can save and use. So we'll start by defining it, multiply by and it accepts a single number and we want it to return a function now this is where function expressions come in because we don't have to declare a separate function first and then return that i can just write return function right here an anonymous function like we've seen where we could write const x equals function like this a function expression there's no name we don't have to have a name because we're returning this and we'll capture it in a variable. So this doesn't work just yet. It does return a function. And if I put something in here, console.log hi, we can call this. If I run it over here, if I call multiply by, I don't even need to pass in a number because we're not using it. And I save the result to a variable. We'll just call it mystery equals multiply by. If we look at mystery, it holds a function. And if I execute it, it runs this function. This was the return value. We could have done this on two separate lines. I could have written a function in here, like const f equals function console.log blah. And then I can return f. That also works. If I do the same thing, mystery equals multiply by. And now I take a look at mystery. It holds a function and I can execute it but I think it's easier just to return it at the same time because we're not using it in this function. We're simply returning it, that's it. Okay, so to actually implement multiply by where we accept a number, what we want to do is return a function that also accepts a single argument. We'll just call it x and we want to return in that function x times num. So let's think about how this works. If I call multiply by with the number three, num is three, and it's going to return this function right here. So let's just copy this on its own, paste it down here. This won't stand as valid code, but if we just ignore that and think of how it works, this function has num set to three. That's what we passed in for num. So now if I have this stored in a variable, like I did up here, and I call this function, and I pass in some value. Let's say it's stored in a variable. If we pass in three, I would call this triple. So const triple equals this function. If I call triple on six, x will be six, and it returns six times three, which gives me 18. But if I instead called multiply by five, num would be five. So it would return this function right here where we accept a single argument and we return that number times five. So when I call it, I pass in two, it returns two times five, which gives me 10. So this function is a factory for making more functions. It modifies them. I like to think of it as a little conveyor belt going by and it's stamping them with a different number or a different value. In this case, num. It impacts how this actual function here behaves. If we pass in eight, we'll get back a function that multiplies by eight. So let's uh, actually play with this now. We have multiply by, everything looks good here. We're returning a new function, return x times num. 
let's make our triple function. So const triple equals multiply by three. That gives me a new function. If we look at triple, we have a function. And if I call it on a number like six, we get 18. I call it on two, we get six. I call it on nine, we get 27. It's multiplying everything that I pass in by three. Now let's make another one of these. We'll call this double. We'll multiply by two. And if I call double on five, I get 10. Triple on five, I get 15. So this factory gave us two different functions. They all followed the same pattern, but it plugged in a different number. And I would do one more, but other than triple, double, I guess quadruple's not too bad. How about const have to cut it in half? So multiply by, not mutation event, multiply by 0 0.5. Let's try that. Have of 6 gives me 3. Of 9, I get 4.5. All right, so this is our first example. If you're struggling with this, uh, I totally understand. This is always a tough one to teach. It's kind of a, a different way of thinking about functions. But remember that functions are just values that can be passed around, whether as an argument, like we saw in the last video, or as a return value. And this multiply function is just changing the return value ever so slightly. Also, remember how we talked about this idea of lexical scope a couple videos ago? A nested function has access to the scope of its parent function. Num is not defined in this function. It's defined up here, but we have access to it, and it's returned, and num still has that value. It persists. So if we passed in 3, num is always 3 in this function right here. Num is always 2. Num is always 0 0.5. So let's take a look at another example. What we're going to do is make this function, which I'm calling make between func. It will return a function where we can check if a value is between two numbers. So I would call it like this, make between function, and maybe we can come up with a better name for this, make between func, 0 and 18. And I'll save this to a variable, const is, ad uh, not adult, is child. So this should return to me a function where if I call it with a number like 5, I get true because it's between 0 and 18. If I call it with something like 67 or 68, I should get false because it's not within that range. So we're making a factory for functions that serve to check if a value is between one number and another number. So I'll show you how it works. I, that's probably very confusing just to see that explanation. But we'll define our function. We'll call it make between func and it will accept two numbers, x and y. And it needs to return a function. And this function accepts a number. This is the return value function. We'll pass a value into it. And we want to compare that value to x and y. So if num is between x and y, that means it is greater than x and less than y. Or we could make it inclusive. So it's greater than or equal to x, less than or equal to y. So we could just write, if num is greater than or equal to x, and num is less than or equal to y, we could return true. We could do it on multiple lines like this, return true, else. We don't even need the else. We can just write return false. But we can also shorten this even more and just say return num greater than or equal to x and num less than or equal to y. This is a Boolean expression. It gives us true or false. So if we play around with this, if we call make between func and I pass in 0 and 18, this returns to me a function where you can imagine x is 0 and y is 18. So now I have this function stored in a variable potentially. Let's say it's called is child. And then if I call is child with 17, num will be 17. And it's plugged in here. Is 17 greater than or equal to 0? Yes. And is 17 less than or equal to 18? Yes. So this returns true. So we get true. If I pass in a different value like 99, we would get false. So it's a factory for making these between functions to check if a value is between two numbers. 
So let's play around with it. We'll do exactly what I just had. Is child equals make between func from zero to 18. And I'll call is child on 17, we get true. If I call it on 99, we get false. And we'll just do one more for good measure. One, true, and uh, 35, false. But we can now make another between func. We get a new return value. Let's do make between func. What's something we would want to check if a number is between one number and another? How about between 1990 and 2000? And we'll call this function, uh, hmm, is 90s. So it doesn't really matter, but we'll call it that. Is 90s or is in 90s. It's a very poor, very poor function name. Now, if I call is in 90s, if I run my code, and I pass in 1989, that's false. But if I pass in 1992, true, 1993, technically it includes 2000 because of the way I wrote it, where it's less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. So we could rewrite it to not be inclusive, or I could just say if it's between 1990 and 1999. So now we have a second function. It has the same behavior, the same pattern, the template of a function, if you will, but the X and Y that have been plugged in are different. So this outer function is decorating or it's finalizing this function that's being returned. Let's do one more. Let's make a function called is nice outside or is nice weather. And our range of temperatures, I'm gonna use Fahrenheit. For those of you who use Celsius, go ahead and do that as well. We'll go from 65 degrees to maybe like 80. It's a bit too hot for me. I start to sweat. So maybe 79 degrees. Let's say 60 to 79 degrees. So make between funk between 60 and 79. I'll call it is nice weather. If it's 45 degrees out, we get false. If it's 76 degrees, we get true. And if it's too hot, if it's 98 degrees, we get false. So three different functions that behave kind of similarly, the same pattern of behavior, but they have different values, different mins and maxes that have been baked in to the actual function. So we've made a factory that returns a type of a function, a pattern, but they're all tweaked to be different, just like we did up here as well. So this whole function return value thing can take a little bit to get used to. Um, I would just take your time and don't panic about it. If you're struggling with it, like I said, when I'm teaching in person, this is always one of the topics that I notice a lot of students take a while to wrap their head around. So play around with this and try modifying the code, make your own versions, come up with other functions. Instead of make between, make a function called make less than or make greater than or make not equal to and play around with that.